Oh shit. Welcome back to the motor vlog. No. Welcome back to the motor vlog. Today is gonna be a carby day. This we're gonna clean this up, go through it, make sure and check all the passageways are clear and everything else and just make sure it's okay to run just for roadworthy because I'm gonna change this. Yeah, for what I wanna do is put an airport onto it. I could probably just put an airport chase the jets on this, but if I can get a new Makuni carb for pretty cheap, then I'm probably just gonna do that anyway. So um, Kano said that it is about 150 bucks for a new one for a Makuni Oz. And that's pretty good, I can spend that much. That's not a whole lot of money. Well it is, but to put it to the bike to make it a bit better, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so it needs a bit of clean, a bit of residue floating in there. Got the old gasket in it. Probably just gonna use that anyway for the roadie. Let's see if I can take that off without breaking it. Yay, got it off. In here you have the float. Um, there's many things about the float. It, like, if you have the right float height, your carb's gonna work better and all that. And you can go in depth in that. I'm not gonna say anything because I have no freaking idea. And <laughs> still learning, but I know it is important to have a look at. So whenever you're doing something with your carb, always consider your float height and your floats and make sure that they're okay. I cannot get this pin out. There we go. Good old paint scratcher. Best thing. That is pretty gross. That needs a good clean. And this carb is running 127.5 jets, which I think I believe is standard. Oh, gunky. That's uh, gross. So I've got all the components down here. This is nice and clean. Um, now I'm just cleaning all these little screws, jets, um, before you put them back in. I don't have compressed air. When you're always checking like jets and stuff, you can just kind of just eyeball it so you can see the, the, like, the light through it or blow through it. Just make sure the passageway is clear. Cleaning this little pilot jet, it did a little test of if you can look down it and see sunlight. I can't, so it's blocked. So I need to get a little bit of like, like steel wire. I thought I had some, but I don't. So I'm just gonna use the wire off my wire brush. Just find like a strand that I can get through and then just kind of poke it through. and blowing through that air is coming out. So that explains a few things why I wasn't idling properly. Everything in the bowl is now clean. Um, I'm gonna turn it over to the top. I'm gonna take that off. That has the rubber diaphragm in there. Just gonna be super careful with that because apparently it is very expensive to replace and I don't wanna be spending money in that direction. All I'm doing is cleaning it and then I'm gonna give the, the whole body just a big scrub and clean. Everything's off the spring, the rest of the tops off. This is the rubber diaphragm we're just gonna be careful with. Don't wanna tear or rip the rubber diaphragm because it costs a lot and I just need to get through roadworthy with this on. So, just gonna clean all the passageways in here and we'll be good. Oh, there's another jet. There's another jet in here. Ah. And the other one I had, all the jets were in the bottom. So this is New. Everything is as clean as I want it to be. Um, so I just cleaned all that out. 
I kind of just let it air dry for a little bit. Um, there's still a little bit of pitting everywhere and a bit of gunk, but that it doesn't really bother me. As long as the inside is nice and clean, um, I'm all good. I'm just going to reassemble it, put it all back together, and just going to let it sit like that. And yeah, that's how I clean my carbs. And obviously it's not the only way to clean your carbs. There's a million ways to skin a burrito. Um, this is just how I skin my burrito. That sounds so bad. But anyway, I like it. <laughs> Sweet, so the next vlog we're gonna put this on and also we're gonna put the starter motor that I got. So we're gonna put the carb and the starter motor in the next vlog and try to start the bike. So right now I'm in Vietnam, so you should check this out. I've got another separate vlog where I'm traveling in Vietnam for two weeks. So you wanna go see what I'm doing there? Thanks for kicking back with me guys. I hope you enjoyed this motor vlog. It was just the carb today and just mucking around and cleaning with it. I know it's pretty boring. Uh, we'll get into more next time.